and water. Every time a big wave came, we really had to try to, to do our best to stay on board. But even this is a safer bet than the alternatives. Rolf Sormann finds only a broken lifeboat to save him. It was upside down and broken in the front. And it was very low in the water. It was two young people, two boys and girl that I could help up. The boat then drifts back towards the sinking Estonia. Rolf believes that this is the end. We passed the uh, Estonia when she is totally upside down and we could see the bulb. And I felt we were sucked into Estonia and I thought, oh, shit, no, now I'm going to be sucked into the ship. Fewer than 300 managed to escape the sinking Estonia. Most remain trapped inside or unable to let go of the upturned hull. The Silvia Europa manages to contact Radio Helsinki 20 minutes after the Mayday call. When I saw the ship sinking in the bow section, it was standing right up from the sea. It was almost like a church tower. Just when the boat was sinking, it was it was like calm in the sea, and the moon came and lighted up. Given that we were in a, this very terrible situation, freezing and, and uh, sh uh, fighting for our, to stay on to the raft, uh, still when we looked on the boat, it, it looked uh, uh, very beautiful, uh, all with all the lights on board and and. Uh, for us, and at least for me, it was very hard to take in this this uh, totally horrifying situation overall. So it symbolized uh, something positive instead of something uh, terrible. And I guess the explanation for that is is that um, it wasn't possible to take in what was actually happening. Of Utah. For those fortunate enough to escape, the cruelest battle to survive now begins. Only 137 from nearly a thousand passengers and crew on board will survive. Even those lucky enough to find life rafts are likely to die from hypothermia. I remember one very fit guy. The cold just went in through his skin immediately into the bones. So from being uh, approximately 20 in, in the beginning of this experience, in the morning we were seven alive. Having already lost his workmate Yvonne at sea, Rolf Sormann holds onto the hands of a young girl across the hull of the upturned boat. For hours, he tries his best to keep her conscious and prevent her from slipping off until a big wave crashed over her. She was taken away out into the sea. I couldn't hold her because I couldn't control my fingers. 